Hello! In this tutorial on C++, I want to introduce you to the namespaces. Alright, let's get started. We already used a namespace. As you can see now, I don't use the using namespace std. So, if you want to write out something, we use uh, the std namespace and inside the std namespace the count. And, uh, yeah, write something, you know, and std and l. So this is the scope resolution operator, uh, we use that to get something from the namespace. In this case it is the std namespace. Alright, but there is uh, circumstances that where we want to make actual namespaces. Alright, so let's want to make a namespace. Alright, uh, to create a namespace you use the keyword namespace and then the name of the namespace, in this case this will be ns1, so namespace1 and an open curly bracket and close curly bracket ok, everything inside this namespace is inside the ns1 namespace so if we want to get something from the ns1 we use the ns1 colon colon so this is just as simple as that alright, uh, make a constant const int c and make it uh, 10 alright, write out this c alright, and make a new line simple alright, uh, this will be a very simple and we, it, we will get the result which we are waiting for as you can see it's write out the 10 although some other programs it, if it is would be a global variable uh, would use the same C named variable. So, I without the namespaces, you should uh, create some very long names. So, counter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, to make sure that no one else will use that name, as you will get a redefin redefine, redefine error. <laughs> Alright, but create a namespa another namespace. This will be the namespace too. So, namespace ns2 and uh, make the same constant so const int c equal 20 simple uh, now let's see that do we get a redeclaration re error or not as you can see we uh, don't get any redeclaration error so try to write out although they have the same name but they are in a different namespace so uh, it will be not be a redeclaration. So compile, run, and as you can see, there is nothing problem. First, it get the C from the NS1 namespace because yeah, it is the NS1 namespace and the scope resolution operator. Then get it from the NS2 namespace. As if there would be two of them, so there would be one here and one here. It will it will give a redeclaration error, as you can see, redefinition. Okay, uh, so delete this. Oh, by the way, uh, you can make a global variable of that. So, yeah, write out the C. And uh, without any namespace, this will be the global C. So that. So without any namespace. Compile and run. And as you can see, it's write out. Alright, you can do much more in namespace. For example, make an entire class. So make a class, class uh, thing again, and just put something in here. So uh, actually we use double, double something. All right, and just to make a quick example, just make a public uh, function. So a constructor thing. It wait double d, and. Uh, actually make it a member initialization list because it's much quicker so something you remember the variable name and inside parentheses what you want to make what do you want to make it equal so in this case it is D and it is needed that the empty curly brackets even if we don't use that alright we use a void print just to print everything out okay and uh, define it right here so print oh void 
I forget to put the void here, it is not a constructor, right? So void like that and don't put a semicolon here because we don't make a prototype of something we want to make the actual function so std colon colon because the count and the scene and the string and a lot of as is inside the standard namespace as you may remember and now we don't use the using namespace std uh, keywords here to uh, automatically search into in the std namespace so std colon colon count and just write out the ns1 ns1 thing and just write out the something oh what is this all right so something all right and make a new line don't forget this is the in the std namespace too all right and actually just copy this whole class and put it in the uh, ns2 and the only change will be to change the two so we know that this print will call all right uh, instance it so ns1 because we want the uh, this thing class from the ns1 namespace colon colon thing and then make it t1 and uh, give a value 5.5 simple now make another one this will be the from the ns2 and thing and this will be the t2 t2 all right and this will be 6.6 .6. and just call the t1.print and the t2 dot print t2 dot print all right and let's try to compile it okay all right uh yeah i deleted the global version of uh, the constant never mind we can compile it now and as you can see first it's called the ns1 as you can see because we get it from the ns1 namespace and that it will get the ns2 so we get the ns2 as if we wouldn't use that way a redefinition would come so if there is two class and uh, definition after it then yeah all right it is possible that we define these outside of the namespace although i don't recommend that so in this case we use two namespace so we get ns1 colon colon so we get the thing from ns1 and we get the print from thing i think it is clear so yeah we can compile it right now and run it and we don't see any difference although it is better to have it inside that namespace okay we can define functions the uh, functions with the same name but this function will uh, now o not overloaded as we did with the same named function okay and pretty much that is for namespace uh, you can put another namespace so namespace ns1 right here and this will not override not redefine declaration it will put it the put it inside the ns1 namespace just simple so for example i make an ns1 namespace here after the ns2 namespace so uh, namespace ns1 and just uh, delete this constant and put it right here and if it is compiled then you will see that it is just put the put to the end ns1 namespace everything even if it is uh, separated into uh, several namespace so that's way for example uh, works the std namespace so for example one file contain the string which is inside the std namespace so the entire uh, file is inside the L namespace ns1 so yeah and for example another the io stream is inside the a standard namespace but because they have the same names a uh, name and namespace they just simple put put together so yeah I think you uh, I think it is clear although 
as you can see it's compiled although in this case when we use uh, just one file it is not really matter but when you will make uh, own uh, uh, files so own header and C++ files uh, libraries or something then it is important to put it into a separated namespace which which it doesn't exist yet in this case uh, uh, there is no redefinition redefinition so for example if you create a class uh, e stream which is the input uh, there is an instance in the uh, io stream called scene this will this we used for read something from the user from from the standard input so and uh, that would give an error but uh, because I inside the io stream the e stream is actually in the standard namespace and if you don't put in the standard namespace just put, put it global or put it another namespace never mind this will not give a redefinition I can't say that word so redefinition error so that way all of the standard libraries as I mentioned in the first tutorial is inside the std namespace that's why if you create uh, uh, something called string class in here for example class string class string it will not give an error if we compile as you can see oh we should include include string as you can see there is a string class actually this is not called string class this is an instance oh never mind so the so yeah it is inside the standard namespace so if you make an instance of the string you uh, you use this space so std string s1 although we use the using namespace std for now and that's why you don't need this std but this is in the std namespace that's why it will not give an error another rule that you shouldn't put anything inside the standard namespace you can put any other namespaces but not the standard namespace so you should avoid the to put something in the standard namespace so write it here the std because that will give an error or if it is not given an error this is a bad programming practice to put something a standard namespace uh, yeah you shouldn't put anything inside the standard namespace all right i think i covered everything i wanted this tutorial to make it simple you can separate namespaces like this you can put a namespace uh, ns2 right here uh, it's not really matter in one file as I mentioned but if you have several uh, lib library and you will make these library you should really use namespaces all of that libraries uh, either you can put all of your libraries inside uh, namespace for example your name or the name of the library or something and uh, or or you can put uh, different namespaces every library you have never mind but uh, what is important that you should put uh, inside namespaces uh, if you r want to write a C++ uh, library not a C uh, type uh, not a C library because the C don't use namespaces all right uh, thank you for watching and have a great day